Joshy Bear plays Minecraft. What is going on, everyone? It's Joshy Bear, and we are playing the Minecraft. We are in for a major project episode. And when I say major, I don't mean a huge project, but it is a project with a enormous significance. Last episode, we ended our uh, time together on top of this hill talking about the project that is going to happen today and that is our phantom farm that's right it is phantom farm time so as you can probably see we haven't done any prep work yet to the area uh, not a lot of prep work that needs to go into this uh, we kind of need to uh, flatten this out just a little bit and then we start to build our structure but i've got my design which we'll talk about here in a little bit but i have to collect a few things, and we're gonna get right into it today. So, Phantom Farms. Not something I know really anything about. <laughs> I mean, I kinda had an idea of how I was gonna farm them. I was either going to stand in the middle of a field and let them just attack me at will, or I was gonna build a tower and uh, try to trap them with cobwebs. Both are viable, but I tried out the cobweb method and I found that I was just breaking the cobwebs or that I just couldn't make it all that efficient. Efficiency is definitely something we want to think about here. Phantom membranes are needed for not only slow falling potions, but once we actually beat the Ender Dragon and do some in-city raiding, we can use the phantom membranes to repair our elytra if needed. So having as many of those as possible is going to be to our advantage. So I wanted to make sure that we had a design that both worked and didn't cause us to spend more time standing at the top of a tower at night than we needed to. So this is the farm that we're going to be building in today's episode. Now the bottom is just me playing around with some blocks, maybe getting a tower design. Um, I don't think I'll be going specifically with that uh, because it's a little big for the farm itself. But uh, really the top part here where you see all the blue glass, that is the actual farm. Uh, we can put that on the ground if we'd like, but what fun is that? So this is another farm designed by Shulkercraft, and it's uh, it's really pretty easy to put together. Um, I'm not 100% sure how the mechanics work here, so please don't ask. Uh, but basically you just kind of come in here. You get on top of your trap door, and when you've not slept for at least three nights, kind of sit up here and you kill phantoms. Overall, a simple farm to build, a very resource-friendly farm to build. Uh, the most expensive part of this is the iron bars that you use here in the top and in the middle. Other than that, I mean, the expenses really come from whatever you decide to do around it or under it kind of like this now this is not what we're going to go for this is a little bulky for this farm design i think we'll shrink this down a little bit uh, but um, i'm going to decide how i'm going to do that and uh, it's time to get building So we still have some work to do here with our tower and uh, the hill in which it sets. I think uh, I think we're going to need to spread that out a little bit to make it a little bit more accessible. Maybe put a stair, a stairway up to it. But um, for the most part, the I guess the foundation for the farm is set. Um, there's really nothing that goes on inside. I guess we could put some storage in there if we really, really wanted to. I don't think it's going to be necessary, though. Um, 
the next step really is just to get the rest of the farm in place. I have put uh, the glass, I guess, standing area in place. So just getting the uh, the fence gates, the water, and the iron bars in is really all that we have left to do. Uh, so I'm going to go. I hate to sleep, but uh, I need the daylight to work, and uh, I'd like to get this done. So in just a little bit of time, with a little bit of effort, we have ourselves a, uh, a phantom farm. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't stayed up for the th three plus days to get the phantoms to spawn, uh, which is probably a good thing considering I'm at the top of this working. I've already got zombies messing with me, but um, this is it. This is really all that is involved. Uh, you kind of step in here, jump up like we like we looked at before and should be able to kill the phantoms no problem so i now have the task of not going to sleep but also getting the area a little bit more accessible i've got some ideas about what to do around the uh around the edge of this as well i want to throw in some cobblestone uh just to give it a little bit more uh i guess uh permanence there because it just kind of looks like it's just a a box that we've kind of stacked up there, give it a little bit of a foundation. And uh, hopefully that'll pass enough time to get some phantom spawning and we can actually see how well this thing works. Well, you really can't tell, but it is day two of three. Uh, that's, yeah, it's a, there's a thunderstorm right now, but uh, I have actually come in and added a little bit more detail to, I guess, the area, kind of expanded out the hill a little bit, added a staircase here, and oh, that is not good. Uh, you have just interrupted very important information. So anyway, before I was interrupted there, um, I have added in a little bit of detail around, um, around the build, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good about how it's coming along. Uh, we've got a few lanterns around the edges, some uh, iron bars to hold those up. I've added in a little bit of a, uh, I guess, maybe a, an outward flange. <laughs> of, of, I, I, that's the only way I, and it's a really awkward way to describe it, but a little bit of a foundation there. And then the stairway, of course, uh, to get ourselves up here. But once we've stayed awake for those three nights, uh, we can actually use that. So I guess, uh, I guess we just gotta kill some time <laughs> until uh, until we can actually use it. Oh wow. Um, yeah, I want that. Um, yeah, I absolutely want want this. Oh no! Oh, that was bad. Oh. Oh my god. Um Oh, now they're fighting each other. Okay, great. Oh, I I didn't want to shoot the horse. Yeah. How many of these can I keep? Oh, I shot the horse. I shot the horse again. As long as I can keep one of them. Oh my. That was um yeah, I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> I just saw the one horse like, oh, yeah, that's a great horse. And uh, lightning comes from above. And now I have a skeleton horse that, um, yeah, no, no, you come here. Yes. 
Yes. Um, he's got like no hearts, but uh, I'm getting a lead and a saddle, and we are going to keep this horse. Do I have a saddle anywhere? Oh, I do. There's a saddle, and I've got a leads. Perfect. Come here. Come here, scary horse. We are absolutely going to name you. Uh, yep, you're getting a saddle. And now I can ride you anywhere I want, but he's not very... He doesn't have very many hearts. Um... And get you. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna attach you there for now, uh, because there was a skeleton running around here, uh, and I want. I want him murdered. Uh, murder the skeleton. Murdered. Yes. Perfect. Okay. All right. So I've got to go get a name tag here real quick. We've got to name this horse. Just trying to kill time, and look what we find: skeleton horse. Skeleton horse. Skeleton horse. Can you tell I'm bored? What do we want to name this guy? What is the name that we choose for this skeleton horse? Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to name him. I have no idea what to name this horse. Absolutely no idea. What do you guys think would be a good name? Tell me in the comments below. Yeah, we'll just keep him here by the... Uh, by the storage area. I think that I think that'll give him plenty of space to graze and all that good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he should be good. I have no idea what you eat though. You're a skeleton horse. You don't even have a stomach. Alright, so we've uh we've cleaned up some of our area, we've checked on some of our farms. Our farmers don't even want to trade with us, or I'd sit here and trade. Uh but uh we are in to I guess the fourth day, um, we should have phantom spawning tonight. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully we can see this farm in action before too long. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's nighttime. That means one thing. Phantoms. Which means it's time for us to get in our tower. So I'm not gonna lie, this could be a long night because uh, phantoms only have a certain percentage uh, chance to spawn each night and that grows uh, each additional night that you're a, that you're awake through the night that uh, you don't go to sleep, I don't see any yet. It doesn't mean we won't have them spawning in. Although while we wait, we'll need to make sure that we uh, take care of any pests that might come our way. Uh, but really, it's just about looking in the night sky, seeing if we see anything spawn in. I mean, we should hear them, definitely, but. Uh, I don't know. This could be a bust. Well, I don't think we're going to see any phantoms tonight. So I guess we'll just have to wait until the next night to see what, uh, see what comes our way. And as soon as I say that, we've got phantoms. All right, here we go. We are running. We are running back to the to the farm. See if we can get them in here in a uh, manageable location. All right, all right, phantoms. Let's go. I know I saw you. Where'd you go? All right, there they are, out there. You can kind of see it through, through the glass. Okay, 
Come on. Do I need to lure them in? Alright, maybe, maybe I can try to sh Nah, nah. So we, so we had one phantom spawn in all of that night, and it happens to be when I'm way away from the farm. I'm hoping that he comes after me, though. So it looks like, it looks like I'm going to need to be in the farm to allow them to spawn the right air, right spot, because they don't want to really. They don't want to mess with you any uh, anywhere else, I don't think. Because he just circled around the house. Come on. Come on in. I got you. I got you, buddy. Yes! And look at that! So we built that farm. <laughs> we had one phantom spawn in. And we managed to pick up... Our first manta membrane. That is fantastic! All right, so it looks like we're going to have to spend another day just wasting some time uh, because we had one phantom spawn, although we did get the phantom membrane. Uh, so I'm going to just uh, kind of poke around the land, see what I can get myself into, and we'll uh, come back when it's nighttime. All right, so I went and did some fishing, and I uh, did a little bit of work around the retaining wall there in front of the cottage, but uh, all of that work has brought us to one moment. Sundown. So that means it's time to get over here and see if we can get some phantoms spawning in to make sure this farm actually works. Oh. Oh, there they are. Here they come, guys. Oh, they are already after me. All right. Oh, look at this. Oh, yes. Okay. All right, so this definitely works. Um, I just need them to fly into here. Can they actually see me? Like, they're circling around. But they don't want to actually come in here. It's like they can't see me in here. Okay, those guys are just glitching into that. Um, okay. Okay. There we go. There's one. Hey, all right. That guy is just stuck. I mean, he might be an easy kill. I'm not sure what he's doing. <laughs> he's just glitched. He's just glitched in. I hear you. Here they come. Here they come. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, yes. That's exactly what I want. All right. I guess you just kind of look up and wait for it to... Wait for him to come in. Because you'll definitely see him. They'll get in that water right there. And they're all yours. That is fantastic. This guy is just... I don't know what's wrong with him. <laughs> Alright, so it's not... I don't think it's working the way that I expected it to. But it's definitely working. I've got 12 Phantom Membrane already. Like, these ones that spawned in... Like, before I got in the farm, they're a little confused. I think I don't think that they know how exactly to get to me. Like, the other ones that spawn in later. So, like, you'll notice, like, he finally got unstuck, and they're just kind of circling around where they where they saw me uh, when they actually spawned. Uh, but eventually, some others will spawn in, and will actually try to come in through this water, which is which has been really, really helpful. Just slows them down just enough to where you can get a couple swipes on them. Alright, so I think... Uh... Okay, I think they're starting to catch on here a little bit. Maybe. 
Where are they going? Okay. Yeah, they know I'm here, but they don't know how to get to me. That's so weird. So I think for the best results, you want to be in here right before sundown. So that way, you know you can get to these guys. And they don't get confused on how to get to you. Like, they should be able to fly up into the air and come down and see me. But they're just not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> this is... It's like synchronized swimming. Yeah, see, now, now they're glitched in there like, oh, I don't know what to do. Any other ones? I don't see any other ones. I could always just step down and let's go ahead and take care of him the old fashioned way. All right, let's see if this guy actually tries to come in here. Where'd he go? There we go. There's one coming in. Here we go. Gotcha. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's a weird view. So this is somewhat like the same concept that we would have used with the cobwebs around. Um, it would have been a little bit more open area, but they would have got stuck in the cobwebs like they have in the water, and you would just swing at them. But I think this is... This is perfect. Uh, everything that gets dropped just flows right into this hole, right into my inventory. I mean, 23 phantom membrane. 23 just from just from this one night. I mean, think about if we spent the next five nights doing this or the next 10 nights doing this. We would have no issues at all getting uh, phantom membranes. And right now we have enough. Uh, to get the potions brewed that we want to get brewed. So I think uh, while it may not be the same uh, or the type of results that I thought I was going to get out of it, I'm pretty happy. So a new day has dawned here in our Let's Play world. And uh, 23 Phantom Membrane from one night up there. That's not bad. I would, I'll take that. I will take that indeed. Now, I don't think... I think I was expecting the the phantoms to spawn a lot more, I, I guess, plentifully. Uh, but they, they did not. It, and I think that's because I just... I know, I'm so used to just, oh, it's nighttime sleep. Um, and not really being aware of how often they spawn in. It actually took us two nights uh, to get enough in here to actually have some uh, returns on that. But I'm I'm happy with the returns. We should have plenty of phantom membrane now to make some slow falling potions and even have some left over so we can uh, repair some elytra uh, before we get uh, mending on a, on a set of those. And because uh, I cannot wait. We are we are so close to our Ender Dragon fight. It's not funny. Um, I've got a lot of work to do off camera. Uh, with uh, trading with our uh, villagers uh, over here to get get some armor, so we've got some backup armor. I may even do some netherite mining or some ancient debris mining, uh, so that way we have plenty of uh, netherite armor and uh, weapons to uh, to do what we need to do to destroy the Ender Dragon, free the end from its tyranny, and then uh, go uh, um, loot and pillage its cities because that's what we do. Um, <laughs> We we destroy the evil and then we become the evil that uh, <laughs> that, that we have destroyed. I, I don't know. I think I think that's what we do. Uh, but that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. I know not not so interesting watching me stand in a uh, box, stare at a uh, iron bar, swap uh, swatting at uh, phantoms. But um, it was a necessary evil for us to progress in this world. Once we can get to that inner dragon fight, get ourselves some uh, in-city loot, uh, we can expand our horizons much, much farther than what we see right now. And I cannot wait. But if you've enjoyed this episode, please, please leave a like. Also consider subscribing. Both are excellent ways to show your support for what I'm doing. 
and uh, I greatly appreciate it. Although the fact that you've watched this video this far it means the world to me. Thank you so much. On that, I'm Joshy Bear. I've got some more sleepless nights ahead of me and some potions to brew, but I'm out of here. I'll see you later.